I haven't used this thing in so long, I don't even know how to work it. <laughs> Bane wanted to come show y'all her little water bottle she got. Come here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Show it to him. Don't put your mouth on it. I gotta wash it. What? She said what? <laughs> you gotta show it to him. Hold it up to the camera. What's that? <laughs> it's the brand Ella, I guess is what you call it. So, <laughs> this is mine. I bought mine the other day. We went. It's so cute. I put this water in here yesterday, like around three or four o'clock, and it's still cold. It's almost gone now. But I'll let you know I didn't drink my water yesterday. So I'm about to wash beans so she can get hers. Kenzie has the pink, the purple one like this, and then I got Maddie the lime green. Maddie's is a mint green, but hers is like the slim one. <laughs> I also got me some vitamins when we went to Target today. Ooh, cause I'm trying to get my energy levels up. I don't know what's been going on, but it's been going. So I got some more of these. The pre probiotics by Ali. I like these, they taste really good. I'm trying Ritual for the first time. They have like a mint taste when you put them in your mouth, but y'all know vitamins are disgusting. So it still has like that. It's like, if somebody stank and they try to mask, they stank with perfume. That's why I have gum in my mouth, because the, the taste was like coming up my throat. I got these because I told y'all I wanted to stop doing, um, so many gummy vitamins because I felt like it's a lot of sugar. way of lighting my candles i got a goddamn lighter y'all know them um <laughs> i don't know how to use a freaking lighter all right this is annoying or is this broke because why is this not <sighs> oh my god my lighter's dying jesus okay are we zoomed in guys no so Y'all remember I bought a long time ago the match set that comes in this cute little thing with a little shite thing on the side from TV2. I don't know how much I paid for it, but anyway, it's glass thing broke, so I just been holding these like this. If we're friends on Instagram, y'all seen me do that reel where I was lighting a candle with this and just look like it just went smooth. I almost caught my house on fire because these sticks are like terrible. So I was like, ooh, you see how it just, ugh, that went too smooth. Now I seem like I'm lying. I ain't. Let me go light my other candles real quick. It's gonna bring the candles to me. It went out before I got in there. Anyways, it's been a minute since I even lit candles in the morning. So I just be getting up and I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, friends, welcome back to another video. I realized yesterday when me and Bing came on camera. I didn't welcome y'all back. Anyways, shortly after that whole footage, I went and took a nap. I called, I sent an email um, to the lady that I'm reporting to on this particular project and was like, it's not gonna work out today. 
I'll let you know how I feel. See, it's finna. Oh my gosh. Y'all see how the what's the name thing has broken? Y'all see what I'm talking about? Anyways, I don't even know what I was talking about. But yeah, I was so tired yesterday. I took a nap for like hours from change. And then my sister came over here because she kind of get their pottery stuff. Um, you know, the little cup thing that I showed y'all the last time. And then I had to take Maddie to cheer practice. Last week and this week has been very much feeling like we're already back into like the group of school. It's not something that I'm honestly mentally prepared for. If I'm being 100% honest, it's the thought of having to take my kids to school, pick my kids up from school. Both of them are doing cheerleading. And I think that is part of like, it's what my anxiety. It is what my anxiety. Okay. And then I'm tired of waking up looking like I've had a rough moment. <laughs> I gotta get me some of them, the no glue lashes so that I can put those on every single morning. Every single morning. I am this close to going to get my lashes back because I'm sick of it. Like I'm just sick of it. And then this hair needs to come out of my head. And there's a freaking fly. Anyways, so I showed y'all this little calendar thing in the last vlog. I have so much work to do since I didn't work yesterday. I wrote me a whole little to-do list now. But anyways, I was like, today's going to be a better day. I'm claiming it in my name of Jesus. And I'm hoping as part of this vlog, we can start clearing out the guest bedroom and prepping it to become our, I'm going to call it a keeper room. Y'all tell me what it's supposed to be. Is it a sitting room, a keeper room, whatever. But I want to hang this up. I actually, like I told y'all, I actually wanted a bigger one to go on my wall so that, because I write big. But I guess I'll just have to do what I got to do. But I feel like this is perfect because I don't want a big calendar going up anywhere else in here. So we're just going to open it and we're going to put it up. I'm supposed to take my kids today to get their hair washed, blow dried, and trimmed. Um, and I was like, do y'all not just want to wear y'all hair straight for the first day of school? Because they could be like a one and done thing. I ain't got to worry about that hair no more. But they want their hair in braids. So I'm planning on braiding it. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but they've been wanting braids. So I was like, well, at least I could do is just take them to, to the hairstyles and let her do all the prep work. And then all I gotta do is just braid it. As if that's not, but I already got the hair and everything else like that. So I need to drill a little hole. I'm gonna try to be patient and do this the right way. Why is this not closing? Is this opening? What the fuck is this? <laughs> it felt like it went boom. Baby, these, these white trucks, the little van things. I don't have time. I just seen one out there. I know folks be out here working, but. Yeah, I got y'all a little bad rip. All right, let me stop. Let me just. All right, friends, this is what she looks like. I think it's so cute. Let me step back. First of all, it took me way longer than it should have because my approach was just all the way wrong. Ain't that cute? It's very subtle. It's not, you know, taken away from anything else in the office. I'm spending way too much time on a dog on dry race. Now, I will say, I probably could have put this up a little bit more to where if I look, it would have been like more of a clean line, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm sure I need to be able to reach this. And as y'all can see, it's just my height. And how y'all, I gotta get some work done. It took me like an hour to put that together and it, it shouldn't have. <laughs> I forgot to take off. <laughs> Suck my stomach in. All the head scarf. These braids have had it. The, good morning, by the way. So our cleaners are coming. Um, it's me cleaning before they get here. I honestly and truly just want them to focus on my goddamn bathrooms. I don't know if I told y'all, I'll give y'all an update. I don't know how I did the whole thing where I um, like did all this clean, cleaning supplies for them and everything. Girl, <laughs> why we had to have them? After they were done, they'll be like, go check or whatever. We had to have them go back and clean the bathtubs. So we just made a decision that we're gonna look for somebody else to clean, but until we find somebody else, we're gonna have them clean just so that we don't have to do it ourselves. 
My name's Lynn Truly. I could clean the rest of my house and just have them clean the bathrooms. The bathrooms is the part that really be getting me. But I'm not going to not have them do the rest of the house because it's baked into the cost. Anyways, I'm about to put some lashes on these eyes. I can't do it. I'm going to. So I went to Ulta yesterday and got more of the, um, the no glue lashes that I showed y'all when we were in Miami. These are wispy. This is what I had last time. You see they already fall off the list now. I don't even know how I get them yet. And then I got the curly ones too. I don't know if these even look. Yeah, they do. They look kind of plasticky. I ain't even gonna hold them. And then, I know I be wearing the false scare. They got a new one in. Um... Oh, this is like an assorted pack. It says special special edition assorted pack, but I like these right here. The only reason why I got these is because the glue ones, they last, but they don't last. These would be good for me to just put on every single day um, and not like really mess with my eyes with the glue and stuff. But they came out with another mascara remover. So the other one I have is, can y'all see that? The other one I have is like, um, there, there we go. The other one I have is like oil based. This is actually filled to the top. It's just pink at the bottom and that's what I did. But hopefully this one will be, it says it's more gentle and it's a new formula, a new improved formula. So we'll see. And then I got two um, NYX lipsticks. I actually already have Madeline. I just don't know if it's spoiled or not. So I was like, whatever, but y'all know Jackie, I ain't you know. If you know, you know. She showed like a lip combo. They don't sell Kat Von D, it, Kat, Kat Von D, K, girl, KVD at Ulta. So uh, I need to do a pickup order from Sephora. And then I have something to return. I need to make an exchange at PacSun. I need to show y'all this cargo skirt that I got from PacSun that is so cute. It's like, um, it comes to my ankles. But I think that's how it's designed to be. And it's stretchy, so you can size down in it. It's form fitting. It's actually really cute. Not like form. It's stretchy, so you know, it it shows your curves if you have some. And then it has like cargo pants on it, and it's like army green. She hurt so my shorts, yeah. Hey friends. So we're headed to the kids' hair appointments. They're just getting their hair washed, blow dry, and trimmed. And then after that, we're gonna go to the mall because I have. A couple of items to return to Paxson and Abercrombie and then I forgot to do my Sephora pickup order so I'm just gonna buy what I want whenever I go there hold on cuz I'm ghetto ooh, 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 ooh. okay I'm back I had to turn um got my coffee I'm determined to drink all of my coffee today because usually I don't. Anyways, I'll see y'all after their hair appointment. <laughs> what you laughing at? Y'all, I just realized I came on here with these men in black shades on. These are my husband's shades. I forgot. Well, Kenzie broke my shades. I did it, Because she mommy. sat on them yesterday. I did not sit on They were literally on the side of the door. So, yeah. And I threw them in the back. So, I don't know where they at. So I forgot to bring some more. So that's the reason why I'm looking like here comes Ben in black. Mm -hmm. Anyways, bye. I'm just so stressed out. I'm just playing. I came right here to get my camera. Because I came to get y'all out of the car. Because I'm going to show y'all some stuff that I picked up today. How many of y'all actually believe me? Please hope. Hey y'all. And not hey y'all. It's hey friends. Okay, so I was talking junk earlier today about these cleaning folks and I was gonna find somebody else, baby. They must have knew. Because they did a really good job. Look at that. Look at that bed. They made that bed up. Greg, that is not where that goes. I don't know how they got a hold of it. Yeah. Must have went to the laundry room. I haven't actually checked the bathroom. Let's check together. Okay, tell them what's good. See, y'all see like the, the edge part? I'm looking up under there. Cause that's how you know whether or not somebody actually know how to clean. Don't just swish some stuff around and be like clean cause that's not how it happens. 
Okay, shower is decent, but they're not scrubbing the way that I need them to scrub. <laughs> they clean the glass real good. But, hmm. I don't know what she's saying. Anyways, let me show y'all what I got. I'm going to show y'all this cargo skirt that I've been talking about. Um, as I was talking about earlier. Okay, babe. <laughs> First, before I show y'all that. Um, I know I told y'all that I don't even know if there's really gonna be any home decor in this vlog because I just <laughs> Anyways, I took my lashes off. I don't even think I ever showed y'all the lashes But I took my lashes off in the car because I was like this. I got some more of these I got remember I was telling y'all about Jackie Aina. She said the Kat Von D crucifix um, It's like a dark chocolate girl get these lashes off me and I got me some more mascara but i got the waterproof one i was originally gonna get the waterproof one when i bought all this stuff last time dang that ball out anyways from paxson i just got a plain gray tea i actually bought this when we went a few days ago but it had a makeup stain in it wasn't for me so i got this and then this is um they have like a the met collection like the met gala or the met ball whatever girl it's this t-shirt, what it's like, the study of fine arts. And then it just has this on the back. This is actually for my husband. I bought one for myself that looks exactly like this, but he's like, oh, I like that. And I get my graphic t-shirts out of the men's section at PacSun because I like my graphic t-shirts oversized. So real quick, let me show y'all the skirt that I got from PacSun the other day. When I went to Abercrombie today to return something, I had told y'all to come to my closet. I don't let them clean my closet because I just don't have time to be trying to take inventory to see if somebody done stole something out of my closet. And then half the time my closet's not clean. So anyways, I seen the cutest cargo skirt that looks just like the cargo pants that I got from Abercrombie. I'm pretty sure it was like $100. I didn't check because I got this one from Abercrombie for, it was $49.99. But this is what it looks like. I think it's cute. It's like that stretchy material, so I sized down. I got it in a size 25 and I normally wear a 26. Or 27 out of there and then it has a cute split at the bottom the one in Abercrombie is like uh it comes like to your knees I think but this one goes all the way to the floor on me it was cute on with a little graphic tee or a little fitted shirt with some um some dunks or some ones or something and then I also got these corduroy white it gives off like a linen material but it's actually like a really 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 thin corduroy like material but i don't think it's actually corduroy the texture of the fabric but these fit cute and they was comfortable and then this is like fall time obviously i know i wear it now i got this sweatshirt um it what does it say pair of sports to go with these shoes girl they do not match so no i didn't get them to go with some shoes they match this i don't have any shoes for this whatever I thought it was going to match these shoes, but clearly my blues are off. So my husband got me these. I tried to get them when Shar originally told me that they came in stock, but I was too late. And then he got, um, they did like another, I forgot what kind of release it's called. But anyways, he got these, so I was, I caught myself matching it, but clearly it don't match. I also got this t-shirt from PacSun. It just says McLaren on there. I just, I like the back of it. This will actually go. Yeah. Sit y'all right up and change this some, uh, some sweatpants. Somebody do this laundry. So I got this a while back. I ordered this online. Did I show y'all this? Because I ordered it when I got the, the other linen pants. I thought this was cute. I'm not really a fan of like the denim ones on me. Because I'm already short and it's giving child. That's all the stuff I purchased. Anyways, whenever my husband gets done, I have a little bit of energy. Maddie's not going to practice today, which I'm so thankful for. Um, what is that? Oh, okay. Um, so I might start clearing out the guest bedroom today. I think this vlog is gonna go up on Thursday instead because it's 4:18 and I haven't edited it yet. But at least we vlog good night that right, y'all. At least we vlog it. Uh, uh.
I done started at the beginning stages of taking my hair down because I just can't do it no more there. But let me just show y'all something. I rearranged my closet. See, I remember I had my um, fragrances right there, but I decided to make this entire thing for like just shoes. Then down here is where I, y'all see how she just like come interrupt me while I'm talking. Um, ignore all this stuff right here, stuff I just got to finish showing y'all. But um, I put my perfumes over here. Let me know if any of y'all are interested in dossier. Okay, so I know y'all probably like, girl, ain't nobody gonna tell you whether or not we're interested because you still ain't even shipped off that um, skincare. Which y'all wouldn't have known that. I could have gave it to somebody I know, but I'm being honest. I still want to give it away because it's still sitting in a box. It's still sitting in the mud room. Anyways, back to these fragrances. I want to go through these and see which ones I actually wear. Like, I've been wearing um, the powdery orange. So the powdery orange, I don't know why I was focusing. This powdery orange flower, I've been wearing this every day here lately. I was gonna smell them, see which ones I know I'll wear, which ones I don't. And if anybody's interested, I'll send it to y'all because I just feel like I have a lot that I'm not really grabbing each time. But yeah, y'all just let me know because obviously I do sponsorships with them, so I get a lot of fragrances and I just don't want to like is it over consume what is the what's the word i don't want to just have a whole bunch on hand when i can share them with y'all so let me know if you're interested and i will send you some of these fragrances okay anyways let's cook dinner i'm gonna do i always call it baked ziti but honestly and truly i have no clue what this is actually called it's basically just like spaghetti but you use rotini or Huh. Use penne pasta. Um, when we make our spaghetti, we use ground turkey, and then you make it like your to your tomato sauce and everything like that, and then you put it into a baking dish, top it with cheese, and then you bake it. And it's almost like baked spaghetti, but you're just not using spaghetti noodles. Pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, Italian season, ning, and we cook. We have a de tomato sauce. Add the water, swish once more. Four. And stir. Time to pour the noodle. Pour the wine. And stir. Add oil to water. I heard it was bad luck to cook without a drink. I don't know what is going on with my camera. Y'all, I feel so good. I don't know what it is, but I am just thanking God that I feel better. I was telling my husband, I don't know if I mentioned this to y'all, but I feel like I'm slick going through a little midlife crisis. <laughs> um, it's just this moment of feeling like, I don't know. It's just been on my mind heavy, like just about getting older. And sometimes I'd be like, dang, like, am I starting to look old? Like, am I itch? That is what anxiety will do for, do to you. It makes you jump from one thought to the next to the next, and before you know it, you're plenty of feeling. Hey friends, so my husband left me with three kids, all by myself. But it's not what you think. He just went out of town for a cousin's trip. But for the next 24, 48, 
72 72-ish hours It's gonna be me and these kids See I pray for me But we're gonna see what it's like What do you need? You want Rice Krispie? Okay we'll get your Rice Krispie So right now we're about to get ready to go It's only been How many hours has it been since daddy left? He left like around 8 something this morning So we'll say 8 hours or so that we've been without him Please hold Kenzie said 7 hours Who's counting? Anyways, we're about to get ready to go to Maddie's practice. That's from 6 to 7.30. Then we're gonna come back home and eat. And then after that, I gotta finish doing Kenzie's hair because school starts in a few days. Yes, the Negro left me right before school's supposed to start. What it is, huh? Um, what's up? Uh, didn't one of y'all say that's what the last vlog was given? Anyways, I finally took my hair out, looking like a bow bitty that I am. I think it was the last vlog I was telling y'all. Look, they killed it. So all I got to do <coughs> put it in the trash. That's it. That's all. Anyways, I was gonna start on Kenzie's hair tonight. I don't feel like it, so I'm about to give me a bath. Put her to sleep, she don't know it yet. And then, the shower. Maybe I'll do a bath. A little bit of wine action. So. <laughs> uh, ooh, that trash thing. I will see you guys a little bit later. Okay. still woke so I'm getting in the shower and we just gonna call it a night I thought I was gonna have me a little moment with a glass of wine god damn it Your kids are still asleep and I want them to stay that way. So, the other day, yesterday, was it? No, Wednesday. All my plants were dead. Like, not Sheba and Willow. Thank you to, mmm. I put it across the screen because I purposely looked at your name yesterday. So, when I told y'all that we named the Kubota in the front, Willow, that I could remember you so I could tell everybody that you named the plant. But y'all can look at the comments and see she named the plant. But anyways, Sheba and Willow, they weren't dead. But all the other ones, they was dead. I don't think they have names. I don't know. Whatever. But this Osmocote, did I ever show this to y'all? I know I mentioned some of y'all in the comments. This stuff right here. Huh? The goat. It literally will revive all your plants. Willow, they could put it in the front. You know, the white Vinca, Coras, whatever it is. I planted those in there. Every last one of them were dried out. Why they re-sprouted? Listen, I don't make the rules. I just follow. 
Okay, so anyways, y'all. I'm minding my business reconciling cash for this project that I'm on, right? And all of a sudden, I see check paid, check paid, check paid six times for the exact same amount of different check numbers. Now, it doesn't take a rocket science to know that it's fraud. 101. So, of course... I reach out, you know, I do like my due diligence, research it or whatever, figure out who the culprit is, clear as day, because before they got terminated, that's how much their checks were. So there's people who get paid like off cycle checks or whatever, so they issue like manual checks. So I reach out and he was just like, yeah, we'll probably end up writing it off. I said, okay, I guess y'all got it like that. But obviously the checks were in total, it wasn't like significant enough for it to really matter. I don't know if they plan on taking legal action or whatever. But I was just like, sir, ma'am, it. Now, if you're going to do something like that, at least cash them every two weeks so it don't stand out. But I guess he said, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it quick and I'm going to head out. So, it, listen, it's hard times for some people. You lose your job. Sometimes you do what you got to do. I wouldn't do it personally. I don't have that type of, like, I, I don't have it in me. But at the same time, I don't. You just never know when you're in a tough spot. They might got kids to feed and everything else. Anyways, on the same lines of that corporate America, if y'all were managers and y'all send y'all's associates emails asking them to send you a report that's on the shared drive, you don't deserve to be in that role. Because why? That's lazy. The time it took you to email me, you could have went and grabbed it yourself. Now, I am all for delegating tedious tasks because I feel like everybody deserves a tedious task every once and again it keeps us humans we want to complain about robots taking our 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 our, our jobs but nobody wants to do manual labor so yes everybody deserves builds character okay makes you think a little bit makes you everybody deserves it but something like that please don't do that I don't care if you're in meetings all day grab it make time I'm not your admin assistant. And um, last I checked, them executive administrative assistants get paid money. So if you're gonna ask me to do admin things, run me their check and mine, okay? And I actually had an email this morning that said, hey, can you send me this schedule? And I'm like, hey, that schedule's been out on the drive, updated, ready to go for like the last two to three weeks. You want me to email it to you? What is this? What do I look like? Because one thing is, it is some of them execs will literally treat you like you're their administrative assistant when you're not. And you went to school and then got a degree just like I did, not to be able to send emails with reports attached, but to actually use your brain to do work and add value to that company, guarantee you. Sending emails and providing you with what you need and setting up time on the calendar does not add value to the company. So please, sir, don't ask me to do a um, meaningless task. I'm gonna call your wife and tell her to come up here and sit in your office. Because the next thing you know, you're gonna be asking me to get you some coffee and then I'm gonna the shit out of you, okay? <laughs> I am so tired. I am so tired. I went to sleep late last night because, I, first of all, it ain't a lick of sun outside. I don't even know why I have this on. I have on every shade of tan that I own from the socks, shoes, all the way up to this ragged ass headband. So, anyways, I'm about to go to Target because Malia decided that she was going to use her potty every time she has to pee. <laughs> so I didn't even have to really do as much training as I did with Kenzie and Maddie. Made it back home. About to make some breakfast. Somebody coming down these steps. Who was that? Mackenzie. Tell about the way you walking. How long y'all been up? All right, I had to talk to my husband, child. Anyways, so I thought I had all purpose flour, but I don't. This is all I have. <laughs> but I think I can just use what do you want okay I'll get it for you um I think I can just use self rising flour instead and omit the baking 
soda, baking powder, and the salt based on my research. For every cup of all-purpose flour, no, for every cup of self-rising flour, you would substitute a cup of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a fourth teaspoon of baking soda. So if my recipe calls for all of that because I'm using all-purpose, I feel like I should just omit all of that because self-rising flour has everything in it to make it rise. Because all of those ingredients is what makes all purpose flour rise. I could be wrong, I'm not a baker, I'm not a professional cooker or anything like that. But we're gonna see, we're just gonna see what it do. And call it. I got my bowls, I got my whole tub of baking ingredients. Because I love to bake, I'm just not a pro baker, if that makes sense. I think that's the biggest thing that like, be messing me up mentally is I be wanting to like, I'm like, this perfect weekend for me to just like get some stuff done around the house and like kind of relax a little bit. But to know I have to do hair all day and potentially have to do hair tomorrow. And then it's like, what do you know? It's time to go back to work. What do you know? The kids are back to school. Like that's kind of messing with my mental right now. So, but we move, you know, we move. So, it's a little orange juice heavy, but. It'll be okay. Anyways, it's almost 12 o'clock, so I really need to start making, you know, brunch at this point. Hey friends, I just finished editing the video that y'all are watching today. Today is Sunday. It is 7.27 p.m. And this video is still going to go live. Why? Because I'm forcing myself to show up. Okay? So, um, sorry. I'm, I'm not even going to apologize. It is what it is. This is what happened in my life this past week. Um, hopefully at some point we can... You know, get some decor. I didn't touch that guest bedroom. I didn't. Husband finally made it home. His flight got delayed twice today. I have not finished Maddie's hair, but I'm halfway there. Um, so I've literally just been relaxing today. So hopefully the next vlog will be a little bit more interesting, to, interesting than this. And we can do like a little bit of home decor or what have you. But I ain't, I'm not even going to hold y'all. The kids start school this week, so... <laughs> Anyways, I already updated my little calendar over there to reflect August. My plan was to kind of like try to do some planning today, but it didn't work out and it's completely fine. I'm not even stressing myself out about it. I probably won't even do Maddie's hair until tomorrow, so maybe I'll do a little bit tonight. But anyways, that's not why I came out here. I came out here to close out the vlog because obviously, you know, the last thing y'all see me do was make pancakes, which turned out horrible, might I add. So, um, you know, when get to winning, going to get Mexican food. So anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all, fingers crossed, on Wednesday, okay? <laughs>